Hi, my name is Ardra and today I will be talking about the documents you need while applying for a German student visa. Nowadays, the number of students opting Germany as one of their dream destinations for higher studies is increasing. Germany is a place offering one of the most affordable education with diverse range of courses at the top renowned universities of the world. Ensuring excellent career opportunities after completing the studies makes the German student visa one of the most impressive and compulsive as well. But a lot of students think that applying for a German student visa is one of the most tedious process and requires a lot of paperwork. But let me assure you, the paperwork starts once you land in Germany. Whereas applying for a German student visa is a much simple and easy process that you can do all by yourself. So as soon as you get admitted into one of the universities in Germany, make sure you take an appointment for your visa application at the German consulate or the VFS global office, whichever is near to you. Getting an appointment is a bit difficult task and may take up a lot of your time. So make sure you book your appointment as soon as you get your letter of admission in hand or in mail. Once you have your appointment booked, all you need to do is arrange the documents as per the checklist mentioned in the website of VFS Global and show up for your appointment. So let's dive in detail and discuss each and every document that is required while applying for your German student visa. First of all, the most important document that you need is your valid passport. Make sure that it is issued within the last 10 years and is also valid for at least one year from the date of your visa application. Make sure you have at least two empty pages in your passport and none of your pages are torn or ripped off. Along with your passport, make sure you submit extra copies of your passport's data pages. Next, we have the application form and declaration form. Along with the passport, don't forget to submit a well-filled and signed copy of the declaration form and the application form while submitting your documents at the visa appointment. And if you don't know where to find these documents, you can download them from the link given in the description box. Letter of Motivation Along with the said documents, you need to submit the letter of motivation or the statement of purpose. A letter of motivation is nothing but a document that states the reasons why you chose Germany for your higher studies and also the reasons why you chose the specific course that you are admitted for in the current semester. Next is the APS certificate. This is a much latest requirement that has come up for all kinds of students that are planning to come to Germany for bachelor's or master's or any kind of preparatory courses. Also, if you're coming to Germany as a bachelor student, make sure you appear for the testis exam and attach its certificate along with the APS certificate while applying for your visa application. If you need more information on how to apply for this APS certificate, make sure to check the link in the description box. Proof of admittance. Now that you have all the documents, make sure you also submit the proof that you have been admitted to one of the universities in Germany. Along with the letter of admittance, if your university asks for any kind of language courses, for example, if you're enrolled for any kind of German taught program and your course requires a B2 or C1 level certificate, make sure you attach a language certificate along with the proof of admittance for your visa application. Or if it is an English taught program and your course requires a a language certificate then make sure you submit an ILTS TOEFL certificate whichever is required as per your university. Next is academic certificates. Make sure you submit all the academic certificates while applying for your visa application. Make sure you carry one set of the original documents and two sets of copies while appearing for your visa appointment. Next you require is the latest updated resume. Next is proof for financial means. When you're coming to Germany as a student, you need to submit a proof showing that your expenses have been covered for the first year of stay in Germany. This can be done by submitting either of the following three documents. You can submit a confirmation of German or EU scholarship or a stipend. Or the document called Verflechtung Erklärung given by the sponsor living in Germany showing your expenses are being covered by the sponsor or the document showing your blocked account amounting to 11,208 euros for your first year of stay in Germany. Usually, higher studies in most of the public universities in Germany is free. But in certain states of Germany, there are universities that require a tuition fees for your higher studies. So, while applying for a visa, you need to show the financial means required for paying this tuition fees. 
For this, you can submit either of the following documents. A confirmation of payment issued by the university or if you have taken an educational loan, then documents showing that your educational loan has been sanctioned or an unblocked amount added to your blocked account other than the 11,208 euros already present in your blocked account. Next you need is the passport size photos. Along with the documents, make sure you carry three copies of passport size pictures that are not older than six months and are also according to the biometric specification. Next is the travel health insurance. You need to submit a copy of your travel health insurance that is valid right from the time you land in Germany to the time you get yourself enrolled at your university. Along with above mentioned documents, you need to pay a fees of 75 euros in Indian rupees while applying for your visa. While applying for your visa application, make sure you submit one set of original documents and two set of copies. Make sure you submit all documents as a complete file with no document missing or there can be high chances of your visa getting rejected. So this was all about the documents you need while appearing for your visa application. If you need more details on how to open a blocked account, make sure you log in to the Coracle website that is www.coracle.de. If you think the video was informative and has helped you in any way, let us know in the comment section and do let us know what videos would you like for us to come up with. Until then, cheers!